To me, no poverty, it has many dimensions because poverty is a very multi-dimensional issue. It's not just a question of a lack of money, that people don't have enough money and thus they are poor. Poverty is actually about a lack of many things. It's about a lack of safety. It's about a lack of uh, physical well-being. It's about a lack of a good living environment, a decent work. And poverty is also about a lack of uh, self-decision, the, the ability to sh make choices about your own life. How is your research connected to goal number one, no poverty? So my research is about renewable energy systems and um, in Eastern Africa, where we are trying to give access to electricity to the people who still don't have access. And there's like one billion people in the world who don't have access to electricity services that are affordable or reliable. By bringing electricity, we will have some impact on people's lives because electricity can facilitate a lot of other activities. But it's never enough to solve poverty by itself. We need a lot more things to happen. So, so my work is more related to understanding the role that energy can play as one small part of the puzzle of how we can solve poverty. Could you choose one of the other goals that is also important for you and describe how these two goals are connected to each other? Then I would choose goal three, which is about good health and well-being. And this is because health and well-being is a goal for our society as a whole. It's also very important a way to understand what sustainable development is all about. Because health and well-being uh, is important for you and me as individuals, but it's also important for us as a society, and we are connected to the rest of the world. Because the way we live here in Sweden is actually having a negative health impact on people in other parts of the world. The people who are working in factories producing uh, the products that we use, often under very, very bad conditions. And the way that, that they work will actually have a negative health impact and make their lives shorter and more miserable. miserable. So for us to redesign our economy and to change our own society, we have to focus on how to promote health. The first step is to get rid of negative health impact. But the next step, a more ambitious step, is to promote health in every way that we can. And that means also protecting nature and our ecosystems. You and I are part of an ecosystem, so our health will depend on the ecosystem around us. So if we want a good quality life, we need also to protect the ecosystem that we depend on.